It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to it. This is your feel good breakfast show. Express right here on S3. It's been a wonderful Monday morning and the inspiration doesn't stop there. We are about to blow your minds. We are thrilled to welcome the nation's top matric learner for 2023, Melissa Miller, with an extraordinary 97.6% average. Wow. And a perfect score in maths and accounting. Joining us uh, is this, uh, Melissa together with her mother, Lucille, this morning. Welcome. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Has any of this sunk in? in that you are the top matriculant for 2023 i mean i was telling my mom this morning in all the interviews straight after i i was just saying i was shaking because i was in disbelief i mean it it only sunk in last night when i actually saw on social media i was watching videos of myself come up and i was like oh my word that, that's me okay. I, I, I gotta quickly comment on all the badges <laughs> that you have here you you clearly didn't sit still <laughs> <No>. <laughs> what do we have there i mean most of it is hockey and water polo and then, I mean, I have one, two, three, four, five, six hockey badges on here. <laughs> so, so you were able to be the top academic, but also very entrenched in sport. I often find that combination never really come to the forefront. It's almost either, like a, a, one it's or the other. super sporty or super academic, but you are both best of both. How did you manage to focus on your books, especially maths and accounting, and still be able to earn your badges in sport? I mean, I'm not someone who can do six hours of school and then go home and study. It just, it won't work for me. I need that break. And I think sport gave me a good break to do that. And it's a social aspect as well, because you're with your friends. I mean, all of my closest friends played sport with me. So that was a big factor in my life. Yeah, yeah. but it, but it's, well, it clearly panned out for you that, you know, that you <laughs> literally got the best of both worlds here. Yeah. Lucille, I want to chat to you quickly. Yeah. I mean, what was this year like um, with Lucille, seeing her so busy with sport, but academically, how, how was it managed from your side? Did you manage or did you give her a bit of free reign to do what she <laughs> needed to do? Well, there were definitely some hectic times, I must say. And, um, but besides the water polo and the hockey and the academics, she also did her A-levels Cambridge exam in May for um, maths and physics. So that's on top of normal schoolwork. So that, may, that was quite hectic, that part. How many hours oh. are in your day? <laughs> <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> yeah, well, we, you, know, you know your child, so when you see the wheels of the bus are coming off, then you as parent need to step in and help them to just relax, yeah. breathe, and assure them that they are not alone on this mm -hmm. journey. You are there to support them and help them. And then to prioritize, to focus on what do we need to do just for today and tomorrow. Yeah. Um, don't think further than that for now. Mm. Yeah, so. That's incredible. I mean, I'm dying to know what your plans are for 2024. Are you going straight into studying or is, is a gap year on the cards? What are your plans? I'm going to be studying with mechatronic engineering at Stellenbosch University. That's like building transformers and stuff, right? <laughs> so many people on social media have been saying that. I mean, it's a combination of mechanical and electrical engineering. But I already have plans for the future because I want to go into biomedical engineering, but I'll pursue that postgraduate. And I think that a combination of mechatronic and biomedical can do something very special. Definitely. Mom, how do you feel knowing that your daughter's not going to be too far out the nest? Uh, I'm very happy about <laughs> that, but she is moving out of the house. She's moving into res, so it's time for her to spread her wings and do her own thing as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. And Rez is amazing at Stellenbosch. Have yes. you already been placed in your yes. Rez? Yes, yes. May I ask oh, which man. one? I'm a Sururia alumni. I'm an Oh, lekker. Yes, listen, uh, again, congratulations, but I think it's, it's only fitting that we have both of you on the couch this morning because we can get tips and perspective from, from each of you. So, Lucille, for, for other moms yeah. going into 2024 that's got a matric child in school at the moment, what, what would your advice be? Well... A matric year is very, very busy. So as a parent, I think you need to create an environment that's conducive to learning. Um, you need to keep it calm in the house because things can go a little <laughs> bit hectic. And um, you need to, you know, provide them with obvious things like healthy food and mm -hmm. uh, water and things like that because it's it's necessary to drink water while you're studying. Yeah. Yeah. If, if you're so busy, brain. you will forget, right? <laughs> yes, yeah. yes, yes. 
and um, where most parents actually have to encourage their children to start go yeah. to the books and start learning, I had to go to Melissa and say, just take a break. Oh, <laughs> wow. yeah. yeah. So, but yeah, keep yeah, a create that, that calm that environment. Sanctuary. Yeah, and and like I said. Tell them they're not alone on this journey. Mm. Yeah. You are there to support them. Now, definitely. Melissa, I think you're very, very definitely. blessed no, uh, to have yeah. a mom that supported you like this. And, and your advice for, for Matrix this year? I think the most important thing is just to enjoy what you're doing. Because, I mean, if you do take time for yourself throughout the year, it makes it so much easier to buckle down during exam times and do the work. Because, I mean, if you're just going to be studying the whole year long, you're going to burn out by the time it's finals. And there's so much additional pressure that is on finals, just because of the emphasis that is placed mm -hmm. on finals throughout your matric year. So I think it's very important just to do the things you love and that will help yeah. you. And listen in class, right? Definitely. Definitely. I'm, I'm <laughs> burning to know, do you have any siblings? I do, I have a younger sister. She's also in Rhenish and she's in grade nine. Okay. Do you feel like there's gonna be pressure for her? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I think she is a little bit overwhelmed by all of this, but I keep telling her, Please don't be another Melissa. I mean, like, there, there's, an, there's one of us in the house and that's enough. So. Yeah, exactly. yeah. Listen, this is also an opportunity, I think, to, to just say to your mom. I mean, what would you say to your mom for supporting you through this year? I mean, yeah. what, did, I mean what did her support mean to you? I mean, I don't say it enough, but thank you, because without her, I wouldn't have been able to do this. I mean, I had such a busy year from driving me to sport. I mean, I had my license, I got my license in March, but half the time I couldn't drive myself to sport because I would be studying in the car because I just oh, had to get wow. everything done. So then she did have to drive me to school. So yeah, that, it helped a lot. <laughs> oh, that's incredible. I love the bond the two of you have. Yeah. And it's incredible, Mom Lucille, that you were able to support your daughter and daughters. And I mean, it's incredible that you're off to Stellenbosch pursuing what yeah. you're passionate about. It's such a lovely university. You've got the life balance down already. Yeah. So you're going to have a lot of fun this year. Yeah. I'm excited. Well, congratulations <laughs> once again, Lucille. Thank you very much for joining us this morning. Thank and you. congratulations to you as well. Definitely. You so I think you're a shining example of, of you know, that, that you can do both excel in sport excel in academics as well and we wish you all of the best Thank for your first year in, in university and the future as well Thank you. yeah, yeah. Give a round of applause. Yeah. Top students.